Hello and welcome to Enjoy English School. 欢迎来到 Enjoy 英语学院 I'm Stevie and I'm Lori. Today we are looking at our entertainment lesson, and we're talking about a movie about monsters and professional wrestlers. <laughs> It's, this sounds actually kind of fun. That's right. So, 呢，今天来到我们影视娱乐的单元，我们要来看到文章的中文标题叫做《打怪大乱斗》。所以刚刚呢 ，Steve 老师已经先稍微的透露了一下，我们要来看到的文章是关于怪兽，还有关于摔跤的。Yeah. So, if you're a fan of either one of those things, today might be a very fun lesson. 嗯，所以如果呢，你是这个摔跤或者你是这种怪兽的粉丝的话呢，那么今天的文章应该会让你觉得相当有趣了。Okay, let's take a look at the first paragraph. This month, audiences in Taiwan can check out Rumble at their local movie theater. So this month, that's easy. Audiences in Taiwan. What's an audience? An audience is somebody who is watching an event or a movie or a concert. It's anybody who is watching something happen. You're an audience of something else. You're either watching it or listening to it. And audiences in Taiwan can check out Rumble. This is the name of the movie at their local movie theater. So we get to see this here in Taiwan. 嗯，所以呢，首先我们来看到文章的一开头讲到说，本月啊、哦，台湾的观众呢，可以呢，这个 check out 啊、哦，这个可以观赏一下，可以欣赏一下呢。Rumble 是我们这部片的这个英文的片名哦，中文是打怪大乱斗。然后在哪里呢？在呢这些观众们啊、哦，自己当地的这个电影院。所以这个这句话的意思其实就是说，本月它要上映了。嗯哼。Now, do you know why this is called Rumble? Why? In professional wrestling that we see on TV, we always hear like an announcement first. Iga Kaito,、mm -hmm. let's get ready to rumble. And rumble means to fight. 嗯哼，有点像战斗。嗯，战斗。呃，战斗。嗯哼，不是战斗。<laughs> so yeah, it it means to you know fight with somebody else and <clears throat> pardon me. So this is what they say at the beginning of a lot of professional wrestling matches、mm. to get the crowd excited.、Mm, that's right. So perfect name for this. Okay. 所以呢，刚刚 Stevie 老师补充的是说呢，当我们在看到这种摔跤的比赛的时候啊，主持的人呢，在一开场为了要让大家整个兴奋、整个提起来，然后情绪整个变得很激动，所以呢，他就会喊出这句说：“让我们来开始决斗，或者来开始战斗。”就会出现这个字 “rumble”。所以用这个字来当这部电影片片的片名是非常恰当的。嗯哼 ，The movie is a light-hearted tale. Set in a world where giant monsters entertain people as professional wrestlers, so the movie is a light-hearted tale. When we say it's light-hearted,、uh, this doesn't mean you know, 你的心脏有有光有灯 What? <laughs> This、uh, when we say it's light-hearted, it means it's it's not a heavy movie. It's、mm. not. Um, it's it's not a dark movie. It's very you know it's fun and light and feng song. It's really relaxing. Very easy. Yeah. Hmm. So tale means story, and the movie is set in a world where giant monsters entertain people as professional wrestlers. So whenever we say the story is set or the movie is set in a place, we're talking about. Where it's happening, or the situation that they're in, and you can actually call that the setting. S e t t i n g, the setting, the place where it's taking place, or the the situation. And in this world, giant monsters entertain people. So this verb entertain means well. 
to make people feel entertained. To, to make amuse? them feel、hmm? to amuse. Yes, to amuse. Good word. A M U S E. To amuse people, to make them feel happy. And how do they do this? They do it by wrestling. They are these giant monsters entertain people as professional wrestlers. 嗯，所以呢，接下来我们看到这句讲到这部片啊，它呢是一个呢让人觉得很轻松愉快的故事啊、哦。这里的 light-hearted， 刚刚呢 C B 老师讲的那个 light， 它不是光线啊、哦，也不是呢明亮。哦，它指的呢，在这里是很轻的意思，在英文里面，所以换言之，让你的心觉得轻松啊、哦，所以呢，是一个很轻松愉快的故事。好，怎么样的故事呢 ？Set in 啊、哦，这里的 set 我们把它当成动词，指的是设定于啊、哦，故事的背景设定在哦，它的舞台设定在什么什么？那它的名词就是刚刚 Steve 老师拼的 the setting。啊、哦，那是也可以这样用的。那么这里他用的动词 set in 设定在哪呢？在一个世界里呀、啊，是一个巨型的怪兽呢，他们会呢。当这个职业摔跤来娱乐人们的世界，所以这个就是故事的舞台。Produced by Paramount Animation in cooperation with the WWE Studios, the film is based on the graphic novel. Monster on the Hill. So this film is produced by Paramount Animation. Paramount is a movie company. This is their animation, Booman,、mm -hmm. their animation division, and they are doing this in cooperation with. This means they are cooperating. They are working with somebody else. They are doing it in cooperation with. The WWE Studios. Now, WWE is the wrestling that you see on TV. Okay, so these this wrestling company that、uh, produces all of the professional wrestling movies you see in the U.S. A lot of those are from the WWE, and so they are doing this in cooperation with WWE Studios and the film. Is based on the graphic novel Monster on the Hill. A graphic novel is like a comic book, except that it's usually much longer, much thicker. 嗯哼，好的，所以呢，接下来这一句我们来看到呢，这个 produced by 我们看到了一个 produced 开头啊，那么其实呢，你就会想说，那它的主词动词在哪里呢？其实呢，刚刚 Steve 老师已经帮我们念出来了，句子原本的啊，这个主词 the film， 然后动词 is。Produced by 啊、uh, ，那么它但是呢，我们放到逗号的后面，再让它出现一次而不做重复啊、uh, 嗯，这样的用法是常见的。所以这里你就知道它的主词动词其实是在逗号后面的。The film is 啊、uh, ，那么前面呢就讲到这部片，它呢由这个派拉蒙影业。以及啊、哦，这个 WWE， 我们讲说呢，叫做世界摔角娱乐电影制片厂，这两家所合作的来制作，所共同的来制作。所以这里看到了 in cooperation with 这个片语啊、哦，也就是等于一起合作的意思啊、哦。那么有两家所共同制作的这部片呢、啊，它则是 based on 是根据什么什么来改编，就是用这个 based on。那么呢，根据。什么？根据这个漫画小说《怪兽山丘》来改编的。Okay, we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back with the rest of the article. All right. Looking at paragraph two, in this mashup of wrestling, monsters, and comedy, we meet Winnie, a young woman who wants to be a monster trainer. Now, this is a long sentence, but it's actually pretty easy. In this mashup of wrestlers, monsters, and comedy, a mashup. 
we usually see in music when we're talking about music mixes, when somebody puts two songs together and it, you know, they make it sound like it's one song. That's called a mashup. So you're taking two songs and becoming one. Well, here we're saying this is a mashup because it's a combination of different things. Uh, wrestling, monsters, and comedy, which I, which actually sounds kind of fun. Mm. So in this mashup that has wrestling, monsters, and comedy, we meet, or we see in this case, Winnie. Who is Winnie? Winnie is a young woman who wants to be a monster trainer. So these professional wrestlers... Um, they have trainers. Mm. So Winnie wants to be a professional wrestling monster trainer. Okay. 所以呢，接下来我们来看到这一段的开头，讲到了 mash up 这个字啊、哦。刚刚呢 ，Stevie 老师有先稍微的讲了一下，这个字原本是从音乐来的啊、哦。你把两首歌混成一首歌啊、哦，这这个作品呢出来了，这个东西就是一个混搭啊、哦。那么在这里的话呢，刚刚他也用了另外一个字叫 combination。我们等一下再请 Stevie 老师拼一下啊、嗯哦。那我们先看句子。所以呢，他讲到在这个混搭的什么？那这个混搭的后面一定会有。它的元素，所以在这个混搭的摔跤、怪兽跟喜剧的这部电影里头呢，我们将会见到这个 Winnie 啊，怎么样的 Winnie 呢？一个想要成为怪兽摔跤教练的年轻女子，所以这个句子是在表达这样的一个概念啊。那么刚刚讲的 combination， 我们请 C 表示拼一下 ，combination，C O M B I N。A T I O N combination.、Mm. Then, of course, there is her monster Steve, a giant yet inexperienced monster. So we meet Winnie. Then, of course, we have to meet her monster because it's a movie about monsters, right? That's right. So then, of course, there is her monster Steve. Steve is a giant, yet, or we could say, but he's giant. He's big, but he has no experience in wrestling. So he's a giant yet inexperienced monster. 嗯，所以接下来呢，讲到说，既然介绍完这个 Winnie 了，然后当然哦，这里的 of course 就是表示作者说你讲完了这个教练，当然呢 ，there is 还有呢，他的怪兽啊、哦，就是这个 Steve， 怎么样的一个 Steve 呢？逗号的后面补充了是一个这个巨大。但是这里的 yet 等于刚刚呢 ，C 表示说的 but 啊、哦，然后呢，这个经验不足、缺乏摔跤经验的怪兽，所以这里的 inexperienced 这个 in i n 的开头啊、哦，它是这个否定开头的其中一个。那么通常加了这个字的话呢，就表示没有后面那一个。那后面你看到是 experience， 所以就是经验不足、缺乏经验的。Steve looks like a great red dragon. So, does he look like it, or is he one? Well, we'll have to find out. 嗯，所以呢，这边讲到 Steve 呢，他看起来像是一只很巨大的红龙啊、哦。所以呢，刚刚 Steve 老师问说，那他到底是一只红龙，还是是看起来像？我们呢，<笑>到时候看了就知道。Yeah. 嗯。Okay, with some intensive training, Winnie hopes to turn Steve into a champion. With some intensive training, whenever we say something is intensive, that means it's it's concentrated. Okay, like you hear this like intensive English language courses. Where you go there, you go to these classes, and no Chinese is spoken, only English, and、uh, it's kind of like concentrated, focused on one thing. So, with some really, and we could also say here with some really hard training, Winnie hopes to turn Steve into a champion.
。嗯，所以呢，接下来讲到了这里的 with， 我们可以翻成借由啊，借由呢一些这里的 intensive， 我们中文翻成密集啊。所以刚刚呢 ，Steve 老师举了一个，比如说有时候你听到那种很密集的英文课程，它就是非常的集中，然后可能呢非常的这个专注啊，在一个什么上面，这个时候呢，你就可以用 intensive 密集这样子的一个表达方式啊。所以借由呢一些这个很密集的训练呢。维尼他希望能够 turn A into B， 就是把 A 啊变成 B， 所以他想把 Steve 变成了一名冠军。嗯 ，Yet we could say also, but for Steve to rise to the top, he will have to defeat the reigning champion. So this means. Winnie hopes to make Steve a champion, but if he wants to rise to the top, if he wants to be the best of the best, he has to do something first. He has to defeat. We could also say he has to beat. B e a t. He has to defeat the reigning champion. Now, G in this word is silent, so it's not regning. Okay, it's reigning, just like. 像下雨天 ，it's raining. <laughs>、mm. uh, but this means the person who has the title right now, the reigning king, the reigning champion, the reigning queen. Hmm. 好的，所以接下来他讲到说，然而啊，这里我我们看到了 yet 后面记得小心这个逗点不要不见了啊，它跟前头那个 yet 的用法是不一样的。那么呢，然而啊，对那个 Steve 呢，要能够 rise 是升起啊，爬升。那么 rise to the top 一路呢，要能够登上冠军宝座 ，top 就是第一名了嘛哦、啊。所以呢，冠军宝座的话呢，他将必须要能够 defeat 或者刚刚 Steve 老师说的 be。哦，能够打败，要能够击败呢。The reigning 就是目前的本届的这个 champion 冠军。And I missed his name. The reigning champion, tentacular. 嗯，所以呢，在这里的话，我们中文啊、哦、是翻成千手怪，就是现任的冠军。Mm. Tentacular is a shark-headed monster with tentacles for arms. So he's a monster with the shark head, and his arms are tentacles like an octopus.、Mm. That sounds scary. 真的，好鲨鱼头、章鱼身这样。好，所以呢，千手怪它是一只鲨鱼头的怪兽，并有着哦这个触手的这个手臂，是这样的意思。Well, to find out more, we're going to have to watch the movie. The next paragraph says this exciting film will keep you on the edge of your seat. This means it will keep you excited. You won't get bored. You won't be able to relax. You'll be excited and have fun the whole movie. 嗯，所以接下来他讲到呢，说这部片绝对会让你哦兴奋到坐都坐不住，你就可以用这样子的一个表达方式哦，让你一直呢都是坐在你的座位的边边，那就是呢几乎都坐不住，太兴奋了。Join Winnie and Steve for a wrestling adventure for the whole family. Yeah, join them for a wrestling adventure that the whole family can watch. 没错，所以呢，就加入 Winnie 跟 Steve 来场全家适合观赏的这个摔跤冒险吧。For audiences eagerly awaiting, for those of you who are really excited to and and waiting for this animated comedy, Rumble is set for release in mid February. So it's supposed to come out the middle of this month. 嗯，所以接下来讲到呢，对那些非常迫切的啊，非常这个期盼这部呢这个动画喜剧片的观众来说呢，那么这个打怪大乱斗哦 ，is set for 就是设定在预计在这个二月中上映。There will even be three D shows at select theaters. At some theaters have been chosen, or they they have the ability. To do 3D, so some there will even be 3D shows at select theaters at some of them. So don't miss out. 没错，那么呢，还会有一些啊、哦，甚至有一些呢，这个 3D 的这个呃上映呢，是会在特定的这个戏院能够有的啊、哦。所以这里的 select 特定的，所以千万不要错过了。
Okay, that's our article, but we are going to have a review of a phrase really quickly. The phrase I want to look at is "keep you on the edge of your seat." Now, this means to stay excited, but it really means,、uh, you know, if you're excited or scared, you're, you're nervous. You're not going to sit back in your chair and relax. You're going to sit on the the edge of your seat, on the front of your seat, and it could be used for scary. Or it could be used for exciting.、Mm. You can use this for either one. Okay, so here, 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 here,